Good morning, guys. Hey, Ty, let let the folks know what you forgot at home. What? I forgot my boat key, bro. And where are we at? Um, where up in my ax, man? Dude. <laughs> Are you gonna go back home and get it? No. Still, uh, still gonna call it a day or what? No, we're just gonna idle around Isle Bay Is over the here. motor? Yeah. And, uh, Bro, that seriously sucks, dude. Yeah, yeah, it's part of it, man. Yeah, that's Ty Vang. Go check out his YouTube channel. I posted it right here. <laughs> but yeah, don't be like this guy. Don't forget your boat keys, otherwise you guys are jacked up. Uh, mm, that sucks. Yeah. Hey, Uncle Nas, say what's up to the people of the internet. What's up, guys? He's gonna be uh, riding in the boat with no uh, motor use. No motor. I mean, trolling. trolling. Oh, man, that's yeah. That does suck. Well, good morning, folks. We are fishing at Mille Lacs Lake. And uh, the goal today is to catch some giant smallmouth bass, you know? If you love bass fishing on this channel, we love to uh, fish bass. And if you love bass fishing, uh, feel free to join us today and uh, go fishing with us. I'm gonna be wearing a GoPro, and my buddy Sam is gonna be wearing a camera too as well. Here, say what's up to the people of the internet, bro. What's up, guys? Uh, what's going on? Today, we're on Mille Lacs trying to catch some big fish to fill out our J-Law tournament thing. That's oh, what I'm trying good. to do, at least. Yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> So don't be like this guy. We're about to launch, and dude just pulls up, and literally cuts us off and launches. And that's Jeremy Pratt. Unfortunately, I guess that's what happens when you think you're an Instagram star and you just start cutting off other people. Don't be like that, guys. Shake my head. And this thing a hater thing, you know what I'm saying? Nah. <laughs> Bro, we just got you cut just, off. You just dude. don't do that. You just don't do that, dude. We just got cut off, man. So, uh, yeah, Jeremy Pratt right there for you guys. Dude, we just low key cut, cut you. Yeah. High key. High key cut High key. you. Yep. On video. On video? Yeah, I just recorded it. That's Jeremy Pratt. That? That's Jeremy Pratt. No, not. That's his boat. Jeremy Pratt. That's Jeremy Pratt right there. Yeah. Dude, you're tripping. You don't know what to you, you do. You think you're Instagram famous? You can cut off people? I thought you were cooler than that, man. You should have said something, man. Whatever, dude. Get out of here. Huh? <laughs> Tell us your name, sir. Nathan Smeltz. That is Mr. Nathan Smeltz, guys. Smeltz, guys. Meeting all sorts of people. You meet cool guys like this, and sometimes you meet guys that aren't so cool. I 
don't know, dude. I, I don't really know. I'm just still trying to get bit, bro. <laughs> trying to figure it out. Fish on. Fish on. Yep. Fish on. I think it's a walleye, dude. Oh my gosh. What is this? Is this a keeper? Because I know we can keep walleyes on this lake. Hell yeah. I'll play with this fish, bro. This is what the walleye guys want to catch, bro. What? What's the slot? 21 to 23. Okay, I'll check. Twenty-one to twenty-three. It's too small. Too small, huh? Nineteen. Nice. Still a nice fish. I agree, sir. We'll let this guy goes. See him next time. First Malax walleye of the year. Those eyes just didn't seem as big as the other one, right? I think that comes with age, bro. Another one. Smally. On the jerk bait. Yeah. Known the secret. Look at those head shakes, dude. Like a three pounder. Like, there's like no win. There's like no point for spot locking, dude. This feels good. First Smally of Malax, boys. Now I gotta hit a thumbs up for that. It's like a three pounder. I'm gonna try to lift this fish, dude. I am not gonna net it again, dude. Dude, that's a big one. You gotta get, you gotta get it on. You get that, dude. The hook is like right in the eye, dude. Of all places, it's hooked in the eye. Isn't that just messed up? Dude? Northern secret. Look at that, dude. That's a football. Dude, you gotta grab the camera, dude. First fish of the trip. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah, that was really good. Look at this, guys. First Millax smallmouth bass of the year. Dude, these fish are just built different. He wants to curve like this, but he's such a strong fish, dude. Look at that. Three pounder, caught it on the jerk bait. Yeah, let's catch some bigger ones. It's such a cool fish. Came all the way out here to catch these guys. Not bad, dude. 3.15, first fish of the day, 3.15. Damn, 18 inch fish, dude, that's a big one. See your first small the other year. Way he went. Where? That's how a fish look like. Oh, that them? dark, yep. No, that's a fish. Oh, yeah, there's a fish on it, dude. Is there? You playing. I don't see it. Let me get it. Yeah, there's a fish on it. Swam out. You went right over, huh? We went right on there. Yeah. Head. But it's like a two, three. Oh, it's, it's back on there, dude. That was cool, right? It's right under us. It's right here. I'm... That was big, dude. Get him. Get him, get him, get him. Get him, Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's up? Nice, bro. Dude, this is a good one. Dude, that is a big one. What do you bite? The net? <laughs> the white Sakoshi bug. Sakoshi bug. Dude, that's a freaking Oh. That's a big one, dude. Calm down. That's a nice fish, dude.
Just enjoy it, bro. That's a Let's nice go. fish, dude. On the white Sakoshi bug. First fish on this, actually. It's a pretty nice one. We buy them at Capra's. Let's go. Oh, yeah. This thing is beautiful, dude. dude. That thing is nice, dude. Oh, my God. I'm Them so happy, colors. man. This makes me so happy. Hell yeah, dude. Y'all gotta smash a thumbs up for that. Woo! Fine, bro. Let's go. Let's go, dude. What's this? Three six. Yeah. Oh, that makes me happy. Dude, you can keep trolling this entire lake. You'll never, like, run out of fishing spots, dude. It's just endless dude there's so much fishable water bro like it's insane just got to keep looking around till you find the right thing so far it seems like their beds are in shallower water you know yeah. i mean i think the fish still has to go to a certain depth so it can uh like there's a certain depth like how shallow they can be because yep. or because they need that light to penetrate to a to uh make oh, the eggs warm you know Cause it's too cold and the eggs like they won't survive. <laughs> Pretty much, dude. Yeah, catch a little pre-spawn mamas, bro. They like, I think like if the males are staging shallow like that, there's gotta be some females just deeper. You know, that makes sense, right? I mean, like, where's the female and why is the male bedding here? I mean, the female ain't gonna be like. Hella far. She gonna be somewhere nearby. The water is so clear, dude. It's like, it's insane, dude. According to what people say, you can catch smallies throughout the entire lake, dude. Yeah. Like, anywhere you want. As long as you're just on them. He already came and grabbed it, bro. That's <laughs> crazy, dude. Uh, I don't know, man. Yeah. That looks big, dude. dude that's nice. I got almost four. I think three pounds, dude. Yeah. They love those little Ned rigs, bro. They're on beds. Why not? Woo! A little brown fish. A little brown fish, come daddy. Dude, small is so aggressive, dude. Wow. Wow, look at that guys. It's a beautiful fish. The Ned rig. Right on the top. Hell yeah. Barely just pops out. Wow, what a freaking tank. Peeing too. You don't get pissed by oh, Smalley, bro? Man. It's like, oh, he's about to weigh me. Make it less. 3.37. <laughs> nice fish. Wow, look at that, boys. Wow, freaking beautiful fish, man. Yeah. I know, so tall, too. See ya, buddy. Holy shit, that's a tank. I mean, I'm not sure if it was big, but. Yep. Right there, right there, right there. Oh my God, it's huge, dude. It is so much different coming out here with live sonar Mega 360 than when we were first out here, dude. And today is sunny too, you know? So, got him, got him, got him. Oh my God, dude, that's it. Messed up looking fish. Get him, get him. Come on, I got him. Got him, I got him, got him. Oh my. One messed up looking fish, dude. Yeah. He's, He's blue. I don't know. Look at that, guys. What a strange looking fish. A big old freaking four pounder, dude. Got some like disease right here. Take that off him. 
blind in one eye fell to the sleeper crawl guys wow beauty dude Sleeper crawl, bro. Let's go. This is, that felt great. Dude, big in, dude. What? Four? 4.01. Four what is it pooping out? Is that a Seiko? Not sure. No, it's crayfish, dude. Is it really? Yeah. It's pooping out crayfish, bro. Oh, you want to keep weighing it? <laughs> I don't want to. Oh. No! That's bad luck. Got crayfish poop on my boat, dude. Oh, it's not going to be four pounds anymore. <laughs> I need to weigh this fish for it in J-Law. Yeah. Four oh. pounds, dude. Uh. I don't know, for some reason earlier it was a four, now it's a it's drop, but I'll wait that and put that in. 3.70. 3.70. It pooped out some sh some weight, dude. <laughs> Literally. I'll let him go. Tank, dude. Skinny. Alright, you can put the camera away. Right in the water. Hey, the sleeper crawl works, obviously, right? Why should it not work, dude? It's a, it's a freaking crayfish color. Dude, that felt great to fight it on a baitcaster, though, dude. Yeah, you had, you had power over it. Yep. Oh, dude, I just had a walleye chase my swimming. Gotta catch it. That's a pretty nice walleye, too. Get his ass, dude. <laughs> Bring home another walleye, bro. It's, it's headed the same direction, dude. Yeah. I bet you it's not gonna eat it, dude. This is a good experience so far for me, dude. This is fun. Dude, 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Holy shit, a walleye, dude. 12 o'clock. Tons of them, dude. Oh you see them? That is crazy, dude. Did you see them? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, dude. Get some dinner. Did you see that? That was like the biggest school ever, dude. You can see their tails. One just swam off that way. It's so hard to find heavy net heads. Yeah. I wonder what people are doing to catch these bigger fish. I think they're actually not sight fishing. Yeah. Fishing and actually like. Well, the pattern did change, you know. I mean. They're definitely on beds now compared to how people were catching them earlier. Because they're catching them post spawn ways. Got him. Big it. Net, bro. Net. All right, hold on, hold on. Over here. We ain't that big, right? Fish. That's like. Did you sleep a car putting it work? I might have to tie it on. <laughs> Shit. It's so good. That thing is. 
thing is chunky, dude. That's a football. It don't even look like a mom, mom. That's it a football. Like right the it, bro. That's legit. That's crawl, football. I got a tie. I got a tie sleeper crawl on. That felt good, saying that. I really like the sleeper crawl hook, though, dude. Yeah. Oh god, that was hard to take out. Did you hear how hard it was to get it out, dude? Probably three pounder. Three point four eight. Whoa, we got a 17.61 pound bag, dude. Very good. Not bad. Beautiful Millax smallmouth, boys. Look how fat its stomach is, dude. It's like full of crawls. I committed to using the sleeper crawl, guys. Because I kept seeing how these fish were eating on crayfish. And that one literally pooped the crayfish onto the boat. So, that means these smallmouth bass are chilling on that. Wow. Beautiful fish. Let him go. Dude, look how fat it is, dude. No, it's actually a football. <laughs> See you, buddy. Wow. That dude put up a fight. Yeah, dude, the sleeper crawl is putting in work in regards to uh, just fan casting, you know? High fan casting to a high percentage zones and just dragging it like a jig, dude. Popping it, everything. Everything on this Super Destroyer flew is giant, dude. Yeah. You know when you're using a stout rod, like if there's a weight on the fish, it just feels giant, you know? That is like the biggest muskie I've seen. <gasps> there's another, that's a large mouth bass. They got two of them. That's a smallie, dude. Where? Right there. Oh, that is a smallie. Oh, you just scared it away. Well, oh no. I guess they're here, bro. They're here by the creek. Waiting for food. Let me get that big mustard. Oh, 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 God! Yo! Oh, God! Yo! <laughs> oh, my God! Dude, that's like a three, right? This is big. I'm sorry I both flipped it like that, but... That's your own rod, bro. <sighs> oh my goodness! Dude! That thing is a tank, dude. <laughs> that four pounder, dude. That was crazy. Oh, that was so... You saw that bite, right? I you saw it. that bite, yeah, I right? Yeah, it all happened, dude. <gasps> That's a tank, dude. It's recording, too. Hell yeah, that's it. <laughs> That's the last fish to end the day. <sighs> four pounder? I don't know yet. We don't wait. Recording. All right, guys. Uh, tough end of the day fish. Benny and I came back to this kind of backwater area because had motor issues, so just had to come back to the launch. And you know me, throwing that spark shad around yeah, and yeah, whew, that was crazy. Dude, it was crazy because uh, Bindi saw the fish. He missed it, so I I led the fish with the swim bait. And dude, it, dude, this thing came, it like turned, it like looked at it, and it just hit it. It was like, boom! Bro, dude, that was I, didn't, I didn't even feel the weight of the fish. I knew it was in his mouth though. So I just set the hook. That was crazy, <sighs> dude. You don't wait. Woo! Already. Let's go. Four, two, one. Woo, bro. Yep, yeah, four, two, five. That's so cool, dude. That must be a big pre spawn female, bro. Four, two, five. That's J Law Big Bad, dude. 425 replaced the 315. We are eight we almost at 19 pounds. Okay, now you can just release the fish. Alright guys, ready. we're gonna let go of this beautiful, beautiful Malax smallmouth. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> Not very smooth, really. Let's go. Finally back in the cities. All I gotta say, excellent day fishing on Malax. If you guys been watching this channel, definitely a lot better in terms of the fish that we caught compared to our last time here, which we only caught like 
a few fish, but this time around with the Smart Strike uh, fish chip for the Hummingbird Helix 10 and Mega 316 Life Scope, all those tools all added together just make fishing so fun and so exciting when you're able to, you know, successfully um, understand what's going on with the water and the underwater um, bottom composition. So super dope, Cabo 18 pounds, super fun. Sam, you got anything to say, dude? Mm, I would say highlight of my day. I think you guys will see it. But we got a sick bite on the spark shad. Towards the end of the day, you know, Benny's motor died. And the one didn't die, but it died for a little bit. And then we got it running. So then we went, we got close to the launch and we started fishing there. And we got in a pretty good small either. Yeah, that, that's my highlight. Yes, sir. But yeah, guys, um, go ahead and uh, drop a comment down below. Crazy day, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's falling in the water, running into a cool dude that you thought was cool on Instagram, but it turns out to be a real asshole in real life. So don't be like that, guys. Always show each other respect, whether you're behind someone or someone's in, ahead of you. Just ask. Bro, is it cool if I squeeze with you? Can I go first? Yeah, that's only totally cool. But if you come in, you just go in, like dog bro we here first dude that's disrespectful man like that's like it's the ugly it's the ugly feeling man so don't do that guys that's messed up but if you're watching this and you're the you're that guy you gotta just talk dog you ain't no little kid bro acting like one but anyways guys thanks for watching no negativity here always about learning about doing better for yourself and having fun in the outdoors all right but enough chit chat i've been talking too long i'll see you guys on the next one Peace out.